Welcome back to the Wolfpack News. I'm Dylan Marsha. And I'm Jaden Thompson. We've got a great show planned with another senior spotlight, review on our fall sports teams, and a look at the dramatic writing class offered here at North. All that more is coming up in just 20 seconds. Pack Shack is holding a raffle for a $10 Pack Shack gift card. To enter, write down how much candy corn you think is in the candy jar. The person who guesses the closest wins. Make sure to stop by the Pack Shack to enter your guess. Attention seniors, your 2023 class shirts have arrived. If you've paid your senior dues, you can pick up your shirt in room 1308. This week, we decided to interview senior Tiffany Vo on her experience here at North. Let's take a look. I'm in JRTC and I'm also on the drill team in JRTC. I really like competitions. I've gone to state twice already and I've placed third and first at state. And inside the program it's already like, you have a whole family, a hundred people that you literally can just talk to. It doesn't even matter if you have similar interests. Just the fact that you're in JRTC, you can just bond with them over anything. I'm planning to go to GSU because I need to get out. I want to live in the city and I know it's like pretty dangerous kind of but it's just like I need to grow as a person and I can't stay in Paulton County forever. I love the cows but I like eating them more so there's a bunch of great restaurants in Atlanta so I want to be a history teacher. I've been inspired by a lot of my history teachers like Mr. Bredesen and Miss Palmer and Miss Long. They're like my favorite teachers ever and so they just I've always wanted to be a teacher but they made me like learning and teaching people about history so yeah I, I want to be a history teacher. I used to make anime edits like a long time ago <laughs> like they're pretty good I'd say they're pretty good like I, I used to have like a lot of clout. We love seeing all the different seniors here at North. Now let's head over to our resident senior, Nick, for an update on our sports. Welcome back to In The Den. I'm your host, Nicholas Vaughn, and today we have some great stories coming up. Let's get right into it. Our flag football team is starting up. Their first game will be against Milton High School, October the 19th at 7 p.m. right here in The Den. So be sure to come out and cheer on our players. Last week, our softball team beat their final region opponents of the year, 15 to 11. For the first time in school history, our softball team has gone undefeated in the region, going 12 and zero. What an achievement by a wonderful group of girls. Now, they have finished their season. They will go to play their first playoff game, hosting right here in the den. So come out and wish our players the best of luck. During the A6 Invitational meeting, our cross country team placed 17th out of 81 teams and broke a new school record. With a combined average of 16 minutes and 42 seconds for the 5K race, Luke Brand set a new record with a time of 16 minutes and 1 second. Way to go, team. Their next race will be the Coach Wood Meet on October the 15th, starting at 8 a.m. Come out and support our record-breaking runners. Our Raiders team competed on October the 8th and won first overall. Once again, placing first in the Rope Bridge Tire Flip and ROC, they placed second in the Cross Country Relay, and the Weighted Vest Relay. Way to go, Raiders. Their next meet will be the Area 7 Championships, also known as the North Georgia Invitational, Saturday, October the 15th, starting at 9.30 a.m. Be sure to come out and cheer on our Raiders. Flipping, cartwheeling, and a back handspring, our cheerleading team placed fourth during their last meet. Way to go, team. Their next meet will be October the 15th, right here in the den. Come out and support our girls. After a week of film, review, and practicing plays, our football team will get back out there this Friday, October the 14th, right here in the Den, 7.30 p.m., where they will face off against Harrison High School. Let's come out and support our pack. Well, thank you for watching this week on our sports segment. Make sure you tune in next week for an exclusive interview and highlights of our flag football team, action shots of the Raiders, and highlights of football. Now, back to you, Jay. 
Did you know North Paulding offers a dramatic writing class? Well, if not, you're in luck, because we sent out reporters Austin Cantrell and Marissa Bean to learn more about it. Take a look. Dramatic writing class is where students learn how to write for stage, for TV, and for the big screen, taking dialogue and scene descriptions and putting them together for visual mediums. Dramatic writing was a class here at North prior to COVID, but this is a first year at his return with Mr. Pritchett as a teacher. Mr. Pritchett explains what students will learn in dramatic writing. I hope they learn formatting, they learn about the industry. I think they'll learn about how to tell a good story and how to think about that story in terms of what it's gonna be, uh, how it's gonna be broadcast to the world. Um, we've been talking a lot about how TV is set up, we get commercial breaks and all that, and how do you write so that when you finish an act or you finish the second act, that becomes interesting and the viewer wants to come back. Ken Groves tells us her favorite part of the class. Um, some of my favorite assignments, well, we've only done two, and they're both script writing assignments, so they were both pretty fun. Most of the assignments are group assignments because you are writing scripts, and like, we just finished a 30-page script the other day. Dramatic writing is a great course to take if you are interested in a career in the film industry. If you're interested in joining the class, talk to your counselor today. Tuesday, October 11th, our marching band competed in a countywide showcase. Guests Hiram, East Paulding, and South Paulding High School all came to perform. Georgia State was also a special guest giving us a great performance at a college level. Let's take a look and see how they did. This week, producer Mason Youngblood and I went out to get some insight on North's theater class. Take a look. Theater is one of the many pathways offered here at North. Theater is the art of getting up on stage and pretending to be someone you're not. It deals with everything from set design, costume design, acting, lighting, and more. In two weeks' time, North's theater class will be performing their show, The Terrors and Promise, which is their one-act competition piece. After that, they will be performing the show, Little Shop of Horrors, during the second and third weeks of November, which is a musical about a man-eating plant. We are, we accept everybody, we take you as you are. My goal is to meet you where you're at and bring you out a little bit of your shell if you have one, to make you more comfortable on stage, to appreciate an art form, and to get to hang out with your friends. It's a great, wonderful place to be. My experience in theater has been amazing. Everyone is so kind and caring, uh, I mean, we just work as a family at this point. It's being so far into the seasons is just crazy that how far we are right now. And I think we're just working really hard and getting everything together. Make sure you come and watch, because I know people are working so hard on it. If you are interested in taking the theater class, you can talk to Miss Bishop in the auditorium. But if you don't want to commit to a full semester of theater, you can go to the monthly drama club meetings to learn more about it before making a final decision. If you have any more questions, make sure to contact Ms. Bishop. Uh, we have auditions for our spring musical coming up the week after Thanksgiving break. Audition information for that will be posted coming soon. Uh, the show is Guys and Dolls, and we're looking to have a cast of between 50 and 75, so everyone is welcome. Come play. Competition Band's first showcase will be held at the Yellow Jacket Classic October 15th, 6 p.m. Come out and support our competition band. Be sure to follow our Instagram and TikTok at NPHS underscore Wolfpack Productions and subscribe to North Paulding's YouTube page to get notified when we go live. That's all we have for you this week on the Wolfpack News. Make sure to tune in next week, and as always, that's, that's a wrap, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.